three ways to increase your testosterone levels naturally. Okay, so let's crack right into today's coaching video, guys, because the thing about most guys today is, and studies have shown this, are that men's testosterone levels are dropping dramatically, right? And when your testosterone levels drop, your estrogen levels increase, okay? Which basically means the more your estrogen levels increase and your testosterone levels drop, the more you will be acting like a little bitch, the more you will be acting like a chick, the more you will not be able to control your own emotions, the more you will not be able to think logically, factually, or statistically, the less you'll want to be bold, take risks. Like when you see that attractive girl, you won't want to approach her. You'll be too scared to take that risk. Or when you see a business opportunity pop up, you won't want to take that risk because you're lacking the testosterone to do it. Okay, because testosterone, the more testosterone you have, the more risk-taking ability you have, the more belief in yourself you'll have, the more confidence in yourself you'll have, the bolder you will be, the more masculine you'll act, the more you'll wanna lift weights, pick up heavy things, pick up hot girls, drive fancy cars, live in big houses, the more testosterone levels you have. So it's important you increase your testosterone levels as much and as often as you possibly can without taking supplements, okay? Because, and I know I'm gonna get some shit for this, but I'm not, big on supplements. I don't like to inject anything into my body. Other than healthy foods, I don't like to inject anything into my body that my body will become adapted to and relying on, right? And this is one of the reasons too that I don't really take medicine. Even if I have a headache, I avoid taking medicine. Uh, I haven't taken medicine in a while when I've been sick. I just let myself heal naturally. I'll take like vitamin C, for example. I'm not gonna take like airborne or anything like that. If anything, I'm gonna eat an orange, which is loaded with vitamin C. I'm going to uh, get plenty of rest. I'm just trying to stay away from anything external where my body will get adapted to it or you know, even like addicted to it, right? So you wanna stay from anything, any external supplements that your body will become reliant on and dependent on in order to maintain your testosterone levels. You don't want that. You just want it to come from clean, natural foods and healthy living. So with that said, let's crack into these three ways that you can increase your testosterone levels naturally. Uh, the very first way, which we we're just talking about, is your diet, okay? It's gonna be your diet, guys. I'm not even gonna say like diet and exercise. Obviously you should exercise to a certain degree, but I'm gonna say the very first thing on top of exercise is your actual diet. Because you could go to the gym and run on the treadmill and lift weights until your face is blue. But if you're still eating Taco Bell and you're eating like garbage, sugars, refined sugars, carb starches, it's not gonna make a difference, okay? It's not gonna make a difference. So you need to eat clean. Part of eating clean requires dramatically eliminating those foods from your diet that I was just talking about. Basically, refined sugar and carbs, candy, cake, donuts, um, white rice, you know, Chinese food, pasta, pizza. You know, all those things are gonna be bad for you. They're gonna decrease your testosterone levels. And those are the type of foods, too, to give you a mental brain fog and that are going to make you feel physically and mentally exhausted right after you eat them. You ever notice like after you have like, you know, a bunch of sweets, like say you eat a box of Krispy Kreme donuts, you really don't feel like doing anything after that except going to sleep, right? Or if you eat like a, a big giant burrito from like a hole in the wall, right? Do they have those like big giant burritos? There are a lot of good ones in the in LA and San Francisco, right? These big giant Gordo burritos with like rice, beans, sour cream, guacamole, lettuce, tomatoes, onions, steak, you know, whatever meats are in there, carnitas. After you eat that, you tend to feel pretty sleepy, right? Because you just had all of these carbs. And you have to understand when you eat carbs and sugar, it kicks up your insulin, okay? And when you kick up your insulin in your body, it produces glucose, which turns into fat, okay? It turns into fat. So part of the secret to eating healthy is to keep your insulin from spiking. 
And the way you keep your insulin from spiking is by eliminating the carbs and sugar from your diet. Okay, do you need to eliminate carbs completely? No, but you wanna keep it under 20, 25 grams, depending on how big you are, how much you weigh. But for the average, average man, you wanna keep your carbs under 25 grams per day, right? The more you can lower the, your carbs, the better. I mean, nutrition-wise, you don't even need to ingest carbs. Right? You don't need a, there's not, no reason to ingest a single carb. You don't need it. Our bodies don't need it. As humans, our bodies don't require carbs. We do require fat, okay? But you don't require carbs. So if you want to increase your testosterone levels naturally, uh, you gotta start eating cleaner. You gotta eliminate the carbs and sugar from your diet. One diet that I always recommend is to get on the ketogenic diet. It's the same diet I'm on where I ingest a very low amount of carbohydrates per day and I almost completely eliminate sugar from my diet. You know, every once in a while I might have like a box of M&Ms or something like that, but I don't eat this stuff every day, okay? I eat very little carbs. Uh, I eat a lot of fat, right, like natural fats, because when you eat fat, it burns fat, and I keep sugar out of my diet. So low carbs, no sugar. Okay? It's basically the ketogenic diet where you're burning fat, okay? Now, this diet's not gonna work if you're gonna try to eat fats, but yet can, you know, continue to eat carbs, because all you're gonna do is get even fatter if you do that, okay? So you have to go no carb, low carb, and no sugar. Right? It's called the keto diet, and just doing that diet alone, just going low carb and no sugar, that will naturally increase your testosterone levels. It will spike your testosterone levels naturally, okay? And you will feel that boost. You'll feel that boost in energy. You'll feel that boost in just feeling good about yourself. You won't have that brain fog anymore. You'll have mental clarity, which is very, very key. And it all comes back to your diet, just eating clean. So that is the number one way to increase your testosterone levels naturally is by cleaning up your diet, removing the refined carbs, removing the sugars, and then just eating clean. The number two way to increase your testosterone levels naturally is you want to start reducing your stress levels, reducing your cortisol. Because if you're ever out there and you see these guys like riding their horn in traffic, like, ah, you know, just getting really angry or somebody in line just getting impatient, like, you know, like huffing and puffing, um, or you might work with people like this, you might have people in your family like this, they're always stressed out, their cortisol levels are always through the roof, Right, they're always like, Ugh! they're always frustrated. And when you live like that and you're constantly frustrated, constantly angry, constantly just like, you don't have any control over your life, right? Or your emotions, especially your emotions as a man, if you have no control over it, you are killing your testosterone levels, okay? You are, you're killing your testosterone levels. So you have to find ways to lower your stress levels, you know, and just relax a little bit more and just realize at the end of the day, it doesn't matter, right? In a hundred years, we're all gonna be six feet under, right? It just doesn't matter at the end of the day. These like tiny things that you get so worked up about, you're gonna look back when you're like 80 years old or 90 years old on your deathbed and you're gonna be like, why did I even give a shit? You know, it didn't really even matter. Why was I so upset about this tiny thing, right? So you have to be able to lower your stress levels. I mean, I run a business and I got employees around the world and you know, at times it can be stressful, especially if we, when we do product launches or things go wrong. Uh, recently we had a technical mishap and our entire, like all of our websites went down the same day and it was like, it was just a nightmare, right? And the first thing I did instead of freaking out was I took a deep breath and I just relaxed and I put a smile on my face and I'm like, son of a bitch. All right, let's figure this out, right? Very calmly. I wasn't like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, it's over, you know? And calmly, let's deal with this, okay? And I sent some emails to my team. I'm like, let's contact who we need to. Let's figure out what's happening here. Um, everybody meet back at this time and tell me what you came up with. And if you come up with an answer before then, you know, we use a, a site called Hubstaff to uh, communicate with each other. I'm like, somebody post it up there, post it in the notes so one of us can see it and we'll take care of it, don't worry. You know, and I've, I was like, unfortunately, I think we'll be down for at least a day, 
hopefully not longer than that, but uh, let's go ahead and figure this out, right? And I kept a smile on my face. It was hard. I kept a smile on my face, right? And even those times that are high stress, you have to just see the good in things. You know, I'm a big advocate of being stoic, right? Practicing stoicism, which I've actually done a coaching video on, uh, on the topic of masculinity and stoicism, how the two go hand in hand, right? Masculinity, stoicism, testosterone levels, it all should go hand in hand. Just as a man, you have to be stoic in life because nothing's ever gonna go as planned. Things are all constantly gonna go wrong. Sometimes you're gonna face a lot of turbulence in life and it's not necessarily what happens to you, but how you respond to it. Okay, and part of uh, being stoic is understanding that the obstacle is the way, okay? And using your problems to your advantage, right? There's always something that can be gained from it. And just like when my websites went down and everybody was panicking and I was leading the ship because I run the business, I looked at it and I just said, okay, well, let's take action. Let's do what we need to do. It's just, uh, it's just another problem that we have to deal with. That's fine. You know, it's a big problem, but we dealt with it and now it's fine. Sometimes I look back on like when that happened, I'm like, wow, shit, <laughs> woo, right? We got through it though, right? We got through it, but did it calmly. And I didn't let my stress levels get to me. And at the end of the day, like I said, the obstacle is the way you have to be, you have to practice stoicism. Okay, and I will do more coaching videos in, in the future on being stoic just because it will help decrease your cortisol levels and increase your testosterone levels. Because every time you de decrease your stress levels and your cortisol levels, by default, you will increase your testosterone levels. And whenever things go wrong in life, you have to see the good. Okay, stop looking at all the bad and try to find the good. Okay, even when that was happening and all the websites went down and there was nothing, we were like, there was nothing we could do, right? We were stuck, right? There was nothing we could do. It was the middle of the night and none of like the hosting companies weren't open. The website companies that we use, the platforms we use, they weren't open. We had to wait till morning. There was nothing I could do. So you know what? I grabbed cash, I grabbed my dog, I grabbed Giz, went out to the park, even though it was the middle of the night. And I remember that night we went, uh, to like an all night diner. I got like eggs, I got steak, had a good meal. And I just sat with them there and I enjoyed them. And I was like, you know, I've got these guys. They're healthy, they're happy, I'm healthy, I'm happy. That's all that matters. You get reminded of the little things, you know? I remember I was like, you know, my grandmother, even though she has Alzheimer's, she's still here with us. You know, my parents are still here. My family's still healthy. I'm like, you know, I have a lot to be thankful for. I'm like, we'll deal with this problem. We'll get through it. And we did. We did, right? Instead of like panicking, oh my God, I'm not gonna sleep tonight. It's like, okay, we'll deal with it. What can we do? What can you do? All right, it's out of your control. And the third and final natural way to increase your testosterone levels, and this is very easy, is getting enough sleep. Okay, you guys need to make sure you're getting enough sleep at night. Make sure you're getting at least your eight hours sleep. For me, sometimes I sleep even up to 10 hours, depending on how hard I worked the day before. Like if I had a long day before, I have like really weird hours. Like some days I will work like literally 10, 15 hours. I'll have the energy to do it too. I'll work like 10, 15 hours, like no problem. And then the following day, I'll wanna sleep for 10 or 15 hours, right? Crazy, but that's just how I operate. That's how I get the best out of myself. So you have to figure out your own sleep patterns and what works for you. But more importantly, you have to make sure you're getting enough sleep. And I do recommend at least eight hours sleep. I know there's so many tests out there of guys like, oh, I could get through on four hours sleep, baby, it's no problem. And it's like, okay, if that works for you, but I think you should get more than that, you know? As long as you feel completely rested, you're not waking up like groggy, and you're not waking up like, oh my God, I'm like still half asleep, you know, that's not good. I mean, it's gonna happen once in a while, but you don't want that to become a pattern. You don't want that to become a habit. And I noticed when I was first building my business, I didn't sleep much. I was constantly working, trying to get traction on it. And I was probably getting three, four hours sleep. And then I was waking up working again like this. And I was like, always like tired and like walking around life, like one eye open, always tired. And I noticed my cortisol levels naturally kept shooting up. Right, they kept shooting up and that's what happens when you don't get enough sleep. Your cortisol levels, your stress, stress levels will naturally raise. You'll have more irritation throughout the day. 
And when you live like that, you're really killing your testosterone levels. So it's very vital that you get enough sleep. Pay attention to the positions you sleep in. So sleep in a position that's comfortable for you. Uh, lately, I've been sleeping on the floor. I found that more comfortable than my bed, right? I feel more like energized in the morning when I do that for some reason. Um, who knows, maybe it'll change in the future, but I go with what my body tells me, what, with what my body likes more, right? So you really wanna listen to your body and really pay attention to your sleep patterns and make sure that you are getting enough sleep because if you're not, you're not helping your testosterone level. So you have to get enough sleep in order to be able to function throughout the day without feeling irritated or annoyed constantly because you know, you're still kind of groggy off of like three or four hours sleep as opposed to a full night's rest, right? And you notice how all three of these methods for increasing your testosterone levels naturally, they all work together. Your diet, reducing your stress levels, and sleeping, right? They all work together. You have to have these three things in order. All right, so with that said, I'm going to wrap up here. Until next time, this is Matt Cross from Alpha Male Secrets. Don't forget to smash that like button below. Also, hit that notification bell right next to it so that you are notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video. More importantly, guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Too many of you guys are still not yet subscribed to this channel, so please do that. It helps me out a ton. When you subscribe to the channel, it's free, it doesn't cost anything. And anytime I upload a brand new coaching video to YouTube, you will be the first to know about it, okay? So you'll get it first, you won't have to you know, like look for it and dig for it through the search engines. You'll get it right as I upload it. And all you need to do is hit that subscribe button, okay? All you need to do is be subscribed to my channel. It doesn't cost anything. So hit the subscribe button now, I really appreciate it. And for you guys who want to support my work and my content even further, all this red pill knowledge I'm teaching guys, the best way to do that is by becoming a premium subscriber of my premium Alpha Male Secrets channel, which I am hosting on a private platform away from YouTube. Okay, I'm hosting it on a private platform away from YouTube where you cannot access my premium content unless you are an active member of my premium alpha male secrets channel. And the first month is only a buck, so it's only $1 for the entire first month of being a premium subscriber of my premium alpha male channel. And it's real simple to get access. All you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.